mothers know these things. Eat some weed and scoot up to bed. Oh wait, oops, wrong game. <laughs> hey there guys, this is NDM here. Uh, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Yes, I just made a reference to Earthbound just then. So we're at our mother's house in Pallet Town, which is where I said I wanted to leave off, uh, or staff, should I say, uh, in the last episode, as we left off the last episode. So in this episode, we are going to go uh, down this river here, which is going to take us to Cinnabar Island. So we're going to have to go onto the Pokemon select screen and then use Surf on Nidoqueen so that we can start sailing around on our Dugong, or Seal, whatever it is. Um, Navy Seals. <laughs> right, so let's land on this uh, pier here. So we've got two trainers to take care of, most of which are going to be compromised of water types. So you want to switch out Firo for Raichu or Venusaur, whichever preferred option you want take. I'm just going to use Raichu because I want to preferably get some levels up for him. Because Raichu uh, only has two evolutions from Pikachu to Raichu, whereas Venusaur has three, well two should I say, it has um, well two pre-evolutions it has two pre-evolutions, whereas Raichu only has one pre-evolution <coughs> which is Pikachu and then Venusaur or Venusaur has Ivysaur and then Bulbasaur and look how goofy that Sea King looks those lips, those big gigantic fish lips, and it's unicorn horn, and it's goofy googly looking eyes, yeah, that's like the most creepiest looking fish I've ever seen, or reincarnation of a uh, sea king, they definitely made him look a lot better in the, in the remake, that's a damn sure, so uh, use thunderbolts, and uh, I'm going to use Raichu in the next battle too. The next battle is going to be uh, all Magikarps. So yes, I have tried recording this beforehand. It's just that something happened with the video, so I had to basically scrap it. And uh, I'm starting a new video, so hopefully this time around it will actually work out and things will go smooth. Um, so plans for this episode really is to just get to Cinnabar Island. Uh, make a start and hopefully finish the Pokemon Mansion, which will then uh, lead us up to the seventh gym, and then we'll do the seventh gym in a separate episode. I probably will do the seventh gym differently because the seventh gym is quiz based, and like some of the questionnaires that, that they ask you is uh, kind of tedious, and I don't really think I need to sit there and show that. So what I might do is just skip straight to the gym leader, and then what we can do is fight the seventh gym and then just go straight to the 8th gym and do two gyms in one episode, which would be pretty crazy. I think that would be the coolest way to do it, so... And this, yeah, this is the trainer that I said is going to have all the Magikarps. And they're all level 27, as you'll see in just a few seconds. There you go, level 27 Magikarp. Now if we were playing Pokemon Red, Magikarp would actually look more to its true sprite than what it does in Pokemon Blue, because in Pokemon Blue he's just blue, whereas in Pokemon Red, Pokemon Red he would be red, but his body is red anyway in the anime and in every other Pokemon game besides this. <laughs> and I guess in Pokemon Yellow he would have a yellow body, and if you were playing Pokemon Green he would have a green body, but that would look kind of weird on a Magikarp. Yeah, I can't imagine a green Magikarp. That'd be just, I don't know, weird. He's got grime in his gills. <laughs> That's the Pokemon Green uh, version of Magikarp. He's just sick. That's what it is. He's sick from all the oil pollution that's being pumped into the ocean. <clears throat> yeah, we're not really getting much experience points from this, which is to be expected. I mean, you don't gain much experience points for killing Magikarps, even if they're level 27. 115 experience points at max, that's like, really bad. <laughs> oh well, you just gotta take what you can get, I suppose. So I don't really expect Raichu to gain a level from this. And, um, I don't know how many trainers there are on this route, but this route isn't a very long route to, um, Cinnabar Island. It's actually a lot shorter than the uh, other route that is, um, adjacent to it, which I honestly can't think of the name of the route on the top of my head. It's, well, 
the route that's right next to um, the other one that's right next to Cinnabar is uh, a long route that kind of splits off into individual routes. Um, I think it has two routes in total along that bottom part of the map. So yeah, those are the only two battles I want to do in this video that I'm going to actually show. So the rest I'll do off screen. Um, we need to use Nina Queen here. And we're going to surf up. No, dude, don't use strength. We can't use ball. We can't push boulders here. Do you really think there are going to be boulders floating across the water? Boulders don't float. Oh, damn it, we got a wild encounter. Well, I might as well show this actually because <coughs> these are probably Pokemon that I haven't really shown off as much. And this is a Tentacool, which is going to get destroyed by my Thunderbolt. And it's level 30, so this will be interesting to actually see how much experience points this will give us. Uh, four, 450. That's pretty dope. Um, oh man, I should have bought some repels! Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of tentacles out around here. <laughs> okay, so we went from a level 30 tentacle to a level 5 tentacle. How does that work? I don't know. We got another battle here, so hang on a second. Alright guys, I'm back. Okay, so I did uh, both these battles off screen. Um, so now we're gonna go down south. Okay, I really should have bought some repels because there's a lot of wild encounters out around here. Damn it. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say damn it because I'm going to be saying that a lot. I mean, this is taking forever to get down here. I don't remember this taking so long, but I guess it is. Yeah, I'm running out of PP on um, Raichu's Thundershock. Well, actually, I've run out of Thundershock. I was running out of Thunder, so I was running out of all of his electrical based attacks. So I need to go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Um, I don't know if that was all the trainers on the route just then, but we made it to Cinnabar Island, and that's all I really care about. So let's just go to the Pokemon Center and get ourselves patched up. <clears throat> yes, heal me now, please. I require your assistance. And that's everyone up to fighting fit. Full health. Okie dokie. Alright, so, um... I don't need to buy any assortments from the Pokemon, and this is the gym here, but you come to the gym door and it will say it's locked, the door is locked, and the only way you're going to get the key is in the Pokemon Mansion, which is this building right here, and it serves as like a mini dungeon, kind of, there's a bit of puzzle solving we have to do in there, um, with statues, we'll get more into that in a minute. First of all, I want to go to the laboratory, which is this building right here, and I think we can do this, I'm not entirely sure. We can definitely turn in the fossil, I know that, but I'm not sure if we can get Aerodactyl. I think you need something specific for that. You might even need to go to um, the museum in Pewter City and then come here, which I'm not going to do because I'm not going to use Aerodactyl on my team, so we'll give him the Helix fossil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to go to uh, Pewter City's um, museum and then you get the, you get, I don't, I think it's the amber fossil, I think that's what it's called. And then, basically, you just come back here and, uh, restore it back to life, and then you get Aerodactyl. But from this we're gonna get Kabuto, I think. I think that's what you get from the Helix fossil. No, uh, you have to wait a little while, though. I take a little time. Yeah, go for a walk. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Well, he's got the Helix fossil, he's gonna take care of that. So I guess we can just go ahead and do the dungeon now while he's um, busy dealing with the Helix fossil. So yeah, and by the time we're done this dungeon, it should be definitely done by then. So there isn't that many people to talk to in this town, just these two people here, but they don't really say much. So you don't need to converse with anyone. There's gonna be a whole bunch of trainers in here though, so prepare yourself. And this is probably the worst dungeon in game in my opinion is a lot more difficult than the Silph Co. This is like one of those dungeons that's up there with um freaking Seafoam Islands. It's not as bad as Victory Road. Victory Road is just really long and tedious. It takes a while to do. Um, I will show some trainer battles in Victory Road. I'll show more trainer battles than I usually do in most videos because it's the final dungeon in the game. So. Might as well just go out with a bang and start showing more like battles and stuff to kind of drag out the video a bit longer before we deal with the Elite Four and all that, the final challenge. 
so I don't know why I'm showing these random encounters, because we've already seen Grimers plenty of times throughout the game, but uh, it would be more interesting to show trainer battles, if anything. So, if I was going to show something like this, yeah, it would be more interesting. Alright, I just got to remember which way to go, how to do this. Yeah, I, I came across a muck just then, and that gave a lot of experience, actually. A lot of the Pokemon in here are poison types, so I really want to avoid getting poisoned, because uh, that is going to really set me back if I do get poisoned. Like, I don't mind fighting the wild encounters in here, because I am getting experience points at the same time. Oh wow, I do I I'm pretty sure I've shown a Ponyta, but I wasn't expecting a wild one in here. That's pretty crazy. Um, well, I'm just going to kill it anyway, and we'll see how much experience points we get for this. I, might I thought I might as well show this off. Because you don't see those that often in the wild, that is. <clears throat> right, so I believe we start from the top floor. And then what we have to do, we have to work our way down. Yeah, we have to work our way down to the basement. Now, if I can do the Silph Co in a reasonable amount of time, I'm hoping I can do the same with this. Item-wise, I think the most notable item besides the key to the gym, obviously, is a uh, solar beam which would be extremely good for Venusaur. Which is most likely who I'm going to give it to. Uh, secret switch, press it, yes. Who wouldn't? <laughs> yes, it's picked my curiosity. What can I say? I can't get out, this whole place is one big puzzle. Alright, we got a trainer battle. Uh, you know what, for that poor performance of freaking Charmander, not Charmander's, <laughs> Magikarp, so I'm going to show this one. Train a battle off here. So, yeah, we are fighting a Charmander. Um, going to use Thunder and see how that does. Probably not too much. Oh, well, no, that actually managed to kill it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Charmeleon. Okay, so I'm going to use. I'm actually going to use Nido Queen here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Surf. should kill it. No problem. So yeah, that really is the um, only, the, like, the last train of battle I'm going to show in this video. So, Because there are quite a few in here, I think, that we have to do. Oh no, my bag of loot! And we, wow, he did have a bag of loot. Holy damn, 3,060. That's awesome. Um, not that I really care too much. I mean, because we're not going to be spending money on Pokeballs, or anything. Oh, come on, dude. I... Yeah, I did that last wild encounter in fast motion, so I didn't really catch that he got freaking poisoned. Well, that's just terrific. And there's not enough inventory space to freaking buy antidotes, so that's marvelous. Terrific. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... No, I don't want to use Graveler. I really don't want to use Graveler. But then again, I don't want to use Nidoqueen either, because Nidoqueen is susceptible to freaking um, poison damage. So, I'm just going to, you know what, yes, uh, actually no, let's use Raticate. Yeah, let's put Raticate on the front lines. Let's go down further. I wonder how long it's going to take before Raticate gets poisoned, too. <laughs> it probably won't take that long, considering everything in this freaking game gets poisoned. July 10th, we christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. <clears throat> yeah, there's a whole bunch of diaries in this place, and if you read them, it tells you the story of... Damn it, uh, dude, why? As I was freaking rudely interrupted by a My Little Pony bitch... <laughs> I, uh, was saying that those diaries that you read tell you the story behind Mew and how Mew was born and what happened here, like a f Oh, it's a Vulpix. Well, well uh, I guess I might as well. I, I ran out of time to really cut it out, so there's no point in cutting this. It'll only take a few seconds anyway. Oh, okay, maybe not. If, uh... He actually manages to hit himself in his confusion, which he did. I 
been dazed and confused for so long, it's not true. <clears throat> and that was totally out of key, but whatever. <laughs> well, I can't really sing in a high-pitched note anyway, like, like freaking Robert Plant can do. So yeah, I don't even know why I kept that in. I was just being really absent-minded just now. I was like in a world of my own for a second. Diary, July fifth, Guyana, South America. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry <laughs> for any for any of you that are from Guyana or Guyana, South America. <laughs> if that is a real place, I don't know. Um, a new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Calcium, uh, yeah, that, I don't actually know what calcium does, I know it's like one of those, uh, like, iron things that you give to your Pokemon, it increases, uh, one of their stats. I'm gonna actually use Omraticate, uh, oh, a special stat rose, well, that's cool. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that, guys, I'm back, I almost just, uh, that's kind of gross for me saying this, but I almost just freaking threw up. Uh, I don't know why that just kind of came out. That was like that was as I made the cut between battles. Are we gonna stop encountering Grimers? Like seriously? And I'm right. There's another staircase here, so I'm gonna assume that we might have to come up here for something. There's a Pokeball here. That's something, I guess. I don't know what's inside it, but we can check it out. Max potion. Okay, that's cool. I don't really have many of those. I just had to use a super potion on um, Raticate. Oh wow. Okay, well this is his only Pokemon. It's a Nine Tails. Uh, I'm not sure if I've shown one of these before. It's the evolved form of a vo um, Ponyta. No, it's not. What the hell am I talking about? No, it's the. <laughs> it's the evolved form of a Volpix, not a Ponyta. A Ponyta evolves into a Rapidash. I don't know why I thought Ponyta. I guess kind of because it looks like a pony, like a horse-like figure, I don't know, it just looks, yeah, like the actual body, not the tails, but the actual body, it's more like a horse. And we're obviously going to gain a lot of experience from that, and that gained him up to level 42, so that's awesome. Are you going to drop us some money? Well, 3,420. I'll take that kindly. Diary, February 6th. Mew gave birth. Oh, he gave birth. Or she gave birth. We named the newborn Mew 2 the failed experiment, as seen in the Pokemon movie. Um, shoot, where do I go? No, right. I don't even know where to go, man. Like, you know what? I'm going to press the switch. Let's see if that does anything. Because what the switch does, it opens and closes the doors. Hmm. And what do you know? Uh, actually pressing the switch here uh, allowed us to access the staircase. It's sad. I have more max potions than super potions. Why the hell didn't I stock up in the Pokemon? I thought I didn't really need to. But I guess I was wrong. Alright, so let's hit the switch. Yes. I think we're almost done anyway. We're not that far off now. Yeah, you meant to drop down here. And I'm not sure exactly which one it is here. I have to drop down, but I know it's one of them. Alright, so my Raticate just died in that battle, so I had to use a revive to bring him back to life. But he's like half he's on half health right now. I have the option to use a max potion, but I really don't want to. <laughs> just for convenience sake, I really just want to keep hold of those as much as I can. Or for as long as I can. Um, so I, I think there's more stuff up around there, but I'm not even going to bother trying to check. Because I'm 100% certain there's nothing important up there, right? So hang on a second, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a save state. Now the reason why I made a save state is because I do not want to go down the wrong path and then make my way back up here back up here again just because I took the wrong drop down. 
So let's go with this one first and see if it's right. <clears throat> if my instincts are correct, which I'm hoping they are. And so he died again, so I had to revitalize him, bring him back to life just now. Uh, that trainer had some pretty tough Pokemon. He had a um, Electrode and a Weezing, a uh, decently high level. So I forgot Carbos. I forgot what this does too. Um, I'm going to use this on. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know who to use this on. Uh, I'm going to use it on Venusaur on Speed Rose. That's fine. <clears throat> If you know what the Carbos and all that stuff does in Mystery Dungeon, then you pretty much know all the stuff that it does in this game, because it's basically the same thing. Um, like, the same logic applies to those items and how they work. Alright, so now we're in the basement of the um, mansion. September 1st, Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Right, I think I have an escape rope, so if because I, I just want to get out of here, like, as soon as I get what I need, I just want to get out. <clears throat> Man, Raticate's defense is so bad that it can't stop itself from dying all the time. Jeez, that's like... Three revives I've used on him, and there's one revive left that I have in my inventory. Alright, I'm not gonna... No, don't press it. You already pressed it once, you don't need to press it again. What the heck? I didn't even move. <laughs> And he just got burned, literally. He's on fire. My eradicate is now on fire. Quick, call the fire brigade. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I swear, dude, nothing is gonna make it out of this dungeon alive. Like, look at my team right now. Fero is poisoned, because I just encountered a wild freaking wheezing. And Raichu's dead, Raticate's dead. I don't want to use another revive, because there's really no point. Um, Graveler will probably be probably be the tank of the place. I think he'll be the only one left by the end of this. Alright, so let's grab this. What we got? Full restore. Yeah, that would be handy. That would have been handy if uh, Raticate... Wait, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> if he was still alive, like with the burn heal or the, the burn heal, the burn ailment, then I could then use full restore to, you know, cure that. So now I'm using Venusaur as my uh, frontline Pokemon. Uh, see if he can do any better in this place. Well, what with all the Ponytas using Ember, and you can also encounter Wild Growlithe down here too. Okie dokie, I'm back. Alright, so, um... Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, boy, if this is what it's gonna be like in Victory Road, I don't even want to know. I should have bought some repels. You know, that's what I'm gonna do um, in the Pokemon. I'm actually gonna buy some. And those will be for preparation uh, for Victory Road, because Victory Road is just a huge, tedious dungeon, and you will be encountering so many wild encounters of Pokemon that we haven't already seen like a million times already, and we like, uh, right, okay, well, that's great. You know what, I'm just going to use a revive and bring Raticate back to life. I think this might be Solar Beam, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, we're going to find out. Oh, it's a rare candy. Well, that can get used right away on... I actually don't know who to use this on, to be honest. Um, someone who's obviously fairly low leveled. I'm yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use it on uh, Nita Queen and bring him up to 43, the same level as Venusaur. So that's like fair, I guess. Uh, and now we got Raticate back in the front lines, I guess. Right. So this is going to be the key. You want to pick up Solar Beam first, which is this item right here. If your inventory's full, come down here and get this. If you only have one slot in your inventory, that is, like I do, then just come and get this first. Because you... Oh. What? 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 No, that's not right. That's where Solar Beam is. So we just... Oh, frickity frick frack. They changed it. They changed it from the remake. So the original... So this must be Solar Beam that's on the table then. But in the remake on the table is where the key is. And then Solar Beam is in the room with the trees because it makes sense because it's grass and there's like, you know, trees around. It represents the whole theme of uh, grass type moves and considering Solar Beam is the most powerful grass type move that your Pokemon can learn, or any grass type Pokemon that can learn, uh, you know, Solar Beam is the best move. So I don't know why it's not in that room. I don't know why they changed it. <laughs> 
Well, actually, technically, they changed it in the remake. Uh, so I don't know what to get rid of then. I really don't. Well, what's TM14? Probably nothing useful. Contains Blizzard. And we don't have any Ice type Pokemon, so you know what? I am going to toss that in replacement for this. I'm hoping this is Solar Beam. TM22. Right, so we'll find out once we actually use it. Mm. And it is a TM, it's not HM. So, yeah, it contains Solar Beam. So they changed the items. They basically switched them over. Because I'm more used to the remake. I'm more used to Fire Red and Leaf Green than I am with this one. So. <laughs> okay, so we'll use uh, Solar Beam on our buddy Venusaur here. And we'll get rid of... I don't know actually what to get rid of for Venusaur, but we'll have a look and see. Uh, Growl, I guess, would be the best one to get rid of. Because uh, Razor Leaf is decent, Vine Whip is also a really good grass type move. I don't want to get rid of any of those. So I'm going to get rid of Growl in replacement for um, Solar Beam, which is awesome. going to be using that a lot in the Elite Four. Uh, it's a move that charges as well, so like, you use it and then you have to wait a turn for it to charge and then it uses it on the second turn of using it. Um, that's how you get the attack off. So what I'm going to do now is uh, use an escape rope, because I have no reason to be here any longer, because we got a exactly everything that we needed from there. And I'm going to pay a visit to the Pokemon and buy what I said I was going to buy, some repels and some super potions if they sell those up. Oh, well, they sell max repels, which is definitely handy. They sell hyper potions. That's awesome. I need to buy plenty of those. Um, I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy 20 max repels. That's a lot of money, though. <laughs> but we got a lot of money to spend. So I'm going to buy a lot of these as well. You will be needing them. You'll be needing as much healing items as you can get. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, my inventory is full, isn't it? Shoot. Of course that would be the problem. Um, full restore. This guy doesn't sell full restores. And full restores are the better healing items because it gets rid of status elements as well and it re fully recovers your health whereas I don't think Hyper Potions actually do fully recover your health and you can buy full restores from the Pokemon from the Pokemon in uh, the Elite Four before you actually go and take on the final challenge of the game so I'm thinking of just leaving this full restore in my inventory and just going off of uh, these max potions here although that is extremely risky going into the Victory Road with just that little amount of healing items. But I have max repels, so I guess that will help just as effectively. Until we get to the Elite Four, and then I can buy myself some full restores when I get there, and then we'll be ready to take on the uh, final part of the game at that point. But th I'm, that's me getting a bit ahead of myself. We're nowhere near that just yet. We've still got the seventh gym to take care of. And then the eighth gym, which I will do in all in one video, because <laughs> I am going to do the majority of the seventh gym off screen. Because there's the the gimmick of the seventh gym is just very tedious, and there's just no point in really showing it. Your fossil is back to life. It was Omanite, I like I think. Uh, yes. All oh, right, it's Omanite, so it's not Kabuto. Uh, I'm not going to give a name to it, and there's no room in your in, in your party, so it's going to get sent back to the box. Okie dokie. Alright, so that pretty much uh, wraps things up for this episode, I guess. So, um, in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Blue, we will be uh, taking on the gym leader of the 7th gym here, and um, getting ourselves the 7th gym badge. That'll all happen in the next video. So anyway guys, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care of this nice video, and goodbye.